Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're in Act 6.2, and this is the fourth quest in the chapter. And here is the path that I believe is the easiest path for your initial clear, the one that has the yellow jacket. Now let's talk about this global node, Destructive Feedback. It's a little interesting as well. It's a, a game of chicken, tag, whatever you want to call it. Basically, at the start of the fight, you see that yellow icon there. You do not want to get hit during this time. So it's perfect for Ghost, who doesn't want to get hit anyway. And then boom, you see the damage once it expired. Okay, so that's pretty much the global node. In the beginning and periodically throughout the fight, you are going to see that and any damage that you deal while that is up, except for a special three. So your special one, special two, and your regular attacks, all of that gets stored. And when it expires, then they take all of that damage at once. However, if you get touched during that time, then you take that damage instead. And it's very easy to have that happen. So uh, even with Ghost, as you'll see later on, I mess up, forget, or I try to go for a parry and I get touched because a parry, they still touch you and you take that damage. Uh, now I believe your initial parry might be okay, but I played it safe and I just said, you know what? I don't want to get touched at all. Now, the other thing that you'll notice, like right here, it's in cooldown. So now you can attack, you can get touched, doesn't matter, you can fight as normal. Now, with it up, you've got to go back to not getting touched at all. Okay, so Ghost, perfect, she phases, they miss, they don't actually make any contact, so no problems there. Now, if you're using someone else, you're going to have to play around uh, this mechanic. And it can be challenging. So you guys know I like to fight aggressively. Well, that can get you in trouble here uh, because during that phase, you really want to back off. You don't want to attack. One of the reasons that I love Ghost is because she allows me to continue being aggressive and attack even during this phase without worrying about it. So like you see I'm doing here, I'm not having to back off, I'm not having to play passively. I can just fight just like I normally would. But if I were fighting with some other champions, then during that time, I would have to really intercept, which is a dangerous thing to do, or you can just back off and play keep away for that entire phase, and then when it expires, then you go and do your damage. Not a fun way to play, but that's what you can do. So, very happy that I had Ghost. Uh, I brought in Spider-Man Stark Enhanced because the boss, the final boss for this quest, is uh, Kingpin. And normally, I love fighting Kingpin with Starkey. And I don't normally want to get touched because Starkey is, of course, a glass cannon low health but he does a lot of damage all right so this particular quest was a little bit longer uh than the last one the last one we got through everything in about seven minutes this one it went more close to 20 minutes all right um but the fights themselves didn't give me too much difficulty i just had to fight the urge to parry. Now with Ghost, you normally don't want to parry uh, at all. Now what I would sometimes do is I would sometimes, if I see them uh, doing something like micro pausing and other things like that to try to throw my timing off, I'll back off and I'll revert back to parry, hit him with a heavy, try to build up some furies, get my bearings back, and then go back to regular ghost style all right but so far so good haven't had any problem
All right, so you can see the nodes we're gonna have to deal with here in addition to the uh, global. None of them give me any reason to uh, worry. Aggression, fury, if you are aggressive, you don't have a problem. But I just got done telling you that that can get you in trouble. So aggression, fury may be a very annoying node for you guys if you don't have ghost. Because if you try to do what I mentioned earlier, just back off during that phase, then they're gonna be building up Fury. And then finally, when the phase ends and you can attack, now you've gotta be worried because they've got a ton of Fury and you still don't wanna get touched or else you're gonna get taken out, even if you block. So, just something to bear in mind. When you're looking for the easiest path, make sure you look at all of the champions you're gonna face the nodes that you're going to face, but also evaluate your own roster. Who are you bringing in here um, to fight these guys with? And your skill level. So you notice that that node had different uh, node buffs. So that's why you want to look at each one of them along the path. They don't all have aggression fury. Hawkeye did. Uh, magic does not okay so definitely check out each node and be pretty careful uh when you pick your path i felt that this path was the easiest but then again i have ghost so i tend to look at each node in terms of how difficult is ghost gonna find that all right so we've got here magic she's about to go down boom there you go um, and pretty much throughout the rest of the path. Like I said, I did mess up a couple of times, um, but nothing too big. I, I don't remember if I used a revive or two here, uh, but I do know that I did not uh, make it unscathed, okay? But in any case, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and let you guys uh, continue watching and I'll be back for the boss because for the rest of this path, you're gonna see more or less the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna just keep phase hitting unless I make a mistake, but I'll see you on the boss fight.
All right, here we are at the final boss. As you saw in the last fight, I was doing so well. And then a simple mistake and down went Ghost. I was not happy about that. And Starkey was the one that I was planning on using against Kingpin. That was why I brought Starkey. And he almost went down. So I'm just like, wow, this is not going well. So I decided to go ahead in here with Hood. And at this point, I just want to get as much damage done as possible. And I'm looking at his health here. And I'm like, okay, this looks like it's going to be a long fight. But I wanted to just get into my rhythm, shake off that last fight. And again, see how much damage I could do. Uh, with Hood. Alright, so fighting Kingpin, uh, my style of fighting Kingpin is to push him to his uh, special one and bait that out. That's pretty much my tactic. Okay? I do not want to try to evade his special two. Most of the time when I evade the special two, I do not evade the entire thing. I kind of block the first part and then evade the rest of it which might not be a good idea given the uh, global node, okay? So like right now, if I were to push him to a special two and I did that, I would take all of that damage. Not a fun time, all right? But Kingpin is not going down easy, all right? But I'm just like, well, that's fine. Let's uh, do as much as we can. You know, there he is. He's got a special one. And I can push him almost to a special two. Just makes it easier to get him to a special one. Uh, you can do that by just hitting into his block like that. Okay? And it's just wash, rinse, and repeat. Now, I'm running suicide, so every time I fire off any special other than the uh, special three, like this special two here, I take recoil damage. Now, I fired off that special, too, because I was trying to do more damage uh, than I had been. And there we go. Now, that actually, believe it or not, was on purpose. I don't know if you guys have watched my previous videos. You know I hate long fights. I hate them. And when I saw how long this one was taking, I basically self-destructed. I was just like, okay, this is enough. Now, all of that... I was just like, man, come on. What in the world is going on? Okay. Don't know what happened. Just took a lot of block damage. A lot of block hits. Okay. But here we go. Now, Wasp can do some good work here. She does nice damage. I am so happy that I ranked for her. No regrets whatsoever. And then he just reached out and gave me a little touch. And that was it. So now I'm like, okay, well, I can bring Ant-Man or I could heal up my Starkey. But I said, you know what? I think I've spent enough time on this fight. Let's just go ahead, revive Ghost. She doesn't need to even get any heals because if I'm going to get touched, chances are I'm going to go down anyway. So we're back to the Ghost. All right. And so I'm sitting here, I'm playing it a little bit coy. All right, there we go. He took his damage and now it's in cooldown. And so he's playing a little defensively. Not much, but enough to annoy me. And I've noticed that, especially when dealing with uh, the AI against Ghost. They seem to do that a lot. All right, so here we are. We want to bait out that special one. We had a special two ready and we don't have to wait for it. Boom. So it went down right as I hit the special two, but it wouldn't matter. Because as long as I don't get hit, which I wouldn't have because I would have phased right after it, uh, I wouldn't have taken that damage. He would have anyway. All right, so phase is back up again. And we're back to doing the ghost dance. All right. And you see there, no problems. I backed off there because it was about to go down, and if he had touched me, it would have been over. 
All right, and here we go. Now he's unblockable, but ghosts don't care. We didn't want to get touched anyway. All right, so here we go. Faded out that special one. Going back in for the attack. Phase hitting. Now we want to bait out that special one. But we didn't need to. Down goes Kingpin. So that's going to do it, guys. A long one. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and useful in your initial clear. And you all have a blessed day.